How you doing guys? It's Liam, back with another YouTube video. Today we're going to be modifying the BMW M140i with some brand new parts. As you might have already guessed, we've got the KSB Auto Styling Kit here, the body kit. It compromises of the splitter, side skirts and the rear spats. Not going to tell you what colour I've got, you have to stay tuned to see that. But uh, we're going to be doing an unboxing, a reveal of the car at the end and I'm also going to show you how to sort of fit it along the way. Alright? If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button, like, drop me a comment. I'm always looking for ways that I can improve the content. All right, let's jump into it. I've unboxed it all, got it all laid out here for you in the conservatory slash kids playroom. I think every room's turning into that at the minute. But uh, yeah, so we've got the splitter, as you can see. Spats, which look like, I don't know, they look like boomerangs, don't they? Um, and then you've got two side skirts there. Um, you also get provided with self tappers, some nuts and bolts at the back there, and then a few washers. So you fit it. Now, I've checked this kit. There's no scratches to it. Um, it all comes nicely packaged in thick sort of plastic bags and uh, wrapped up in bubble wrap. So you do actually get some pre-drilled holes in the splitter, as you can see, all the way down. It's going to be handy. Uh, also in the side skirts as well. Uh, not side skirts, in the spats, sorry. You get them in the spats as well. Um, none in the side skirts. I'm not really sure why. Maybe I'll find out. Maybe it's something to do with how it fits onto the car or something like that. Quality seems really good. Uh, you can see nice and thick plastic there. Um, good quality, nice shine to it. On the, uh, the splitter, you do actually get a KSB badge. Um, it looks as though it's just stuck on. You might be able to take it off. It doesn't look like it's recessed in or anything like that. Um, so I know some people don't like it. But I think it's a bit more discreet than some of the other brands. Um, so if you don't want that badge on there, you can probably take that off and uh, you won't have one. I can't actually tell you how excited I am to get this fitted to the M140. It's going to look mint. Let's get into it, let's get it fitted. Right, so I couldn't actually do it yesterday because it chucked it down um, and I just ran out of light. But obviously uh, I've got the car here. I've cleaned all around the bottom again and just make sure it's dried off. Um, <coughs> you can use a microfiber and then an alcohol wipe just to make sure you've got all the grease off, etc. So that's all done. Um, we've got all the stuff I'm going to be using. I'm still showing you the kit already. It's all laid out. A couple of microfibers. Uh, we've got some Allen key bits for the bolts, some scotch fixing tape, probably be better if I went from this way, wouldn't it? A um, couple of drill bits, I'm using a 6mm bit um, for the bolts. I've decided to go with bolts in the end because I've read a few reviews online saying that if you don't use bolts at high speed, it can rip your splitter off just using self-tappers. So gone with them and then me, me drills. That's about it. Yes, yeah, so I've got both jacks set up. Handbrakes on nice and tight so my car don't roll away when I jack the front end up. Walk around front, I've got a rug down there just so I don't hurt my knees when I'm kneeling down, bending. Another jack this side. Um, shout out to Mark for lending me that. 
I'll put a link to his Instagram. He's got a, an M140 as well. So uh, go check that out and follow him. And uh, yeah, we're ready to go. Uh, there we go. Jacked up. Fairly high, as you can see. Um, I probably would recommend getting some axle stands. I'm not going to bother. And hopefully I just don't get squashed underneath the car. But uh, yeah, all jacked up. Plenty of room now to work under there. So we're just going to do the front splitter first. Um, just because I'm most excited to get that one on. I'm going to, because I'm working on my own, I'm going to have to use some scotch tape to stick it on first. Uh, then I'll drill through, put the bolts in, tighten them up, and hopefully it goes as easy as I've just made out. All right, let's get this tape on. I'm using scotch fixing mounting tape. It's about four pound a roll from B&Q. Should do the trick and make sure you get the exterior one. All right, guys, so I just put the scotch fixing tape on. Um, as you can see on the splitter, now, I advise cut it into smaller strips because you've got to follow the contours of the uh, the splitter and the curves and you won't be able to bend it round. Um, so yeah, make sure that's all nice and stuck on. And if you're working on your own, it'll help you uh, fit the splitter. So for this bit, we've got a drill. Uh, we've got a six mil bit on the drill. Uh, we've got an eight mil spanner, nuts and bolts there with washers. And then we've got a five mil Allen key bit um, just to do up the bolts. So let's get cracking, let's get it bolted up. So I got underneath the car guys, drill in hand, and then I discovered something. It weren't gonna be as easy as I first made out. It was at this moment I realized I fed up. It was as easy as I've just made out. Yeah, so what I've not taken into account is uh, all the plastic trim where your bumper meets there. So you can't get a spanner in there to do up the, the nuts and bolts. So uh, that's a change tactic. Gonna have to be a bumper off job, I think. Um, you want to start by taking off your arch liners. Um, you can do it halfway, you don't have to take them all the way off. Because you need to get to, if you can see them, some little bolts there. Um, they attach the wing to the bumper. You need to get them off. Two long screws, they're about that long. Done one already. Uh, exactly the same other side. Um, we've obviously taken the ones off from underneath, as you can see. Um, they're just there. I think there should be 10 holding the bottom of the bumper on, and then it'll be time to take the top ones out. Next, we're going to uh, remove this rubber cover, expose the screws at the top of the bumper, and then we're going to use a, a Torx bit just to undo these bolts here. The bumper should hopefully come off now, fingers crossed. So I just pulled the bumper away from the clips at the top, and then it came away from the car. There it is, it's off, guys. Um, as you can see, looks weird without a bumper on. Um, gives me access to all this now, so I can attach the splitter properly with some nuts and bolts. Right, so that's all stuck on. I'm gonna go around each one of these pilot holes. Three there, three in the middle, and then three this side, and get it bolted together. All right, so they're all drilled. Um, I'm going to thread the bolts. All right, I'll just show you this bit. It's a bit awkward, to be fair. Uh, this bit here. So you've got to sort of lift that up. I've just uh, stuck that in to give me some room to work. Get a little spanner on the end and then tighten it up. And then I'll just do the same all the way down with the rest of them. I'll just show you what we've done here. Um, obviously, you can see the bolt 
hits the other side of the plastic and the only spanner I've got was this one so I've actually modified it cut the end off so now when I do it up I can get it back out so struggling so yeah there's always a way so another really fiddly awkward bit I've got to get a bolt a nut sorry on the end of that bolt in there so what I've done is got a bit of my tape put me uh, nut on there with the spanner and hopefully you'll see how this works fingers crossed get that on the end there and then you can get your obviously I'm filming this as well um, get your other hand and tighten up your bolt right there we go guys it's all fitted the splitter um, I'll show you all on nicely bolted on fits really nice as you can see pretty equal both ends sticks out of touch that side and then I touch that side just all bolted in as you can see there's a couple under there harder to see right let's get the bumper back on fitted to the front and then we'll lower it uh, do the side skirts and then the rear right that's the hard bit done hopefully um, I'm not going to reveal the front end just yet uh, I'm going to move on to the side skirts next so I've just jacked one corner up because uh, that gives me enough clearance front and back get my drill in I'm going to use self tappers on this bit because um, there's not really any wind resistance any pressure in the build so uh, we can use self tappers for this bit let's get cracked on with it so it's literally just a case of getting the side skirt lined up put some tape on each end just to help me because I'm on my own and then buzz in the self tappers I use six at about 300 mil distance all the way down that's the side skirts on pretty easy that one just use yourself tappers got six in each all the way down about a foot apart sort of 300 mil something like that i'm gonna move on to the uh the rear now and get the rear spats on i'll just quickly show you it's pretty much just if you can see all self tappers under there now, well you can see that there and then this one this one you can see self tappers all the way along the side skirt this gimbal's got a mind of its own sometimes uh, and then the bolts on the splitter there right here we go then guys the moment you've all been waiting for the grand reveal of the m140 with the uh, ksb body kit splitter is all on looking nice fitments bang on if you can see there goes right into the corners there's no gaps got a little ksb logo there i'm going to keep it on for a bit got the side skirts they're all on nice and glossy 
when the rear spats are on so yeah really good um it was a bit fiddly especially the front splitter um but like i say if you don't give it a go you'll never know so give it a try yeah so that's it we've come to the end of the video guys if you liked it drop us a like comment subscribe to my channel i'm nearly at 100 subscribers now so uh really want to try and hit the 100 mark before the end of the month it'll all really help and uh yeah i'll see you on the next one they tell me that i'm never gonna make it they want me to do something that can make sense they hate when i keep dreaming i'll be famous but i don't care